down in the presentation area, we have Tony Gregg with all the prizes, the money, and the England captain, Michael Atherton. Thank you very much, Richie. Yes, uh, thanks for coming down, Mike. I've got a check here for three thousand dollars for you. There we are. Thank you. Um, a good win by Australia. Um, although you must be pretty happy with the fact that having started badly, uh, you got yourself back into the game at least. Yeah, Australia played the better cricket throughout the match. Fully deserved their victory. Um, thought Shane Warne's performance in the second innings was a wonderful performance. Equally, our lads showed a bit of fight, and I was pleased with that. You must have been very happy with the way uh, Hick and Thorpe played in particular. Yeah, they gutsed out on the fourth afternoon there. We'd said the night before we needed to lose maximum of two wickets to give ourselves a chance on the final day. And it was unfortunate both of them went early on the final morning um, and that probably uh, stopped any chance of us drawing the game at the end. And what a bowler, Shane Warne. He's a magnificent bowler. Um, you know, his performance in the second innings was a, a great performance, I thought. Thanks for coming in and enjoy yourself down in Barrow. Thank you. Thank you, Michael Atherton. Right, well, Mike Taylor's down here as well. Um, I've got a cheque for you here, $6,000. Well done. Thanks, Tony. Um, very happy after coming so close in Pakistan on a few occasions to, keep, to win this one easy. Oh, it wouldn't have been easy. I thought the, the Poms played very well and the second innings batted very well. Uh, it wasn't an easy wicket to bat on, yet they stuck at their guns very well. But I was pleased, obviously, because Warney took eight wickets, but you know, I took Craig took a couple of big wickets for us, and that's what we've, we've lacked in Pakistan, someone to take those big wickets, and Craig did it today. And it started well as well, won the toss, um, good conditions to bat in first, you played pretty well, your form is pretty good, but then uh, big hundreds by two of your batsmen. Yeah, well, that's what we talked about. I think in Pakistan we had a lot of guys make good starts over there, and they'll make a real big hundred in slats, and then Mark Ward provide us with big hundreds, which is always going to lead to a big score. So, you know, happy from a lot of fronts in this game. Then they got back in it just a little bit there. They bowled pretty well in that session on the third day, didn't they? Tough and all did particularly well. Yeah, they came back a couple of times. You know, we were, I think, four for 3.30 overnight the first day, and they held us to 4.20. Um, second time, we were, you know, none for 100. It kept us down to 208, 240. So, you know, they stuck at it very well, and uh, it's going to be a good contest for the rest of the summer. Thanks very much for coming down. Thanks, Tony. Right, we've got the Man of the Match award here. There's... Uh, Duran gold trophy, gold uh, trophy for the man of the match, Shane Warne. Congratulations. There we are, and uh, thousand dollars for you as well. Thanks, mate. Well, you'd be as happy as a bee. Oh, I suppose I'm pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, mate. It's. Uh, I just thought, you know, there's a few people said we shouldn't have fired on, but I mean, I thought I'd back Mark Taylor up in his decision. I mean, we always try and bowl last. I think it suits our bowling, and I suppose we bowled last in the last day, and it worked. You know, I thought Craig McDermott bowled really well, and. Maisie bowled well, it's just a shame he couldn't hold on a couple of those catches, but uh, I thought he bowled really well and it's good to have the whole support from the rest of the boys. And uh, just a few thoughts on when you were running in for that hat-trick, uh, <laughs> what, what do I bowl now? Yeah, I suppose I, I suppose I should have just probably bowled a leggy, but I thought Tuffers uh, might be able to bamboozle him with a wrong one or something, but uh, didn't work, but uh, yeah, I was just happy. You've never come closer than that. Yeah, thank Pretty you. Very well bowled. Thanks, Congratulations. Thank you. That's all from down here, Richie. Back to you. Thanks, Tony. So just to confirm that the Australians have won this match by 184 runs. That looks a big total and a big margin, but it was closer than that, and England did fight very, very well. Coming up at the weekend in Perth, we have these matches. The Benson Hedges World Series, Friday, December 2, a day-nighter, Australia against Zimbabwe. Then Sunday, December 4, Australia A against Zimbabwe. Those matches at the Wacker, and red tickets 484-1222 or 008-199-991. And uh, for the moment, it's goodbye from the Gabba. A very, very good test match here and good cricket coming up for the rest of the summer. For the moment, goodbye. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.